My name is Zach, and I'm 13 years old, and this is my story. When I was nine months old, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. It affects your muscles, and when you have growth spurts and stuff, it is hard for your muscles to keep up. And a lot of times, my knees and my legs will start to get stiff, and then I won't be able to walk, and my dad will have to carry me somewhere. When I was young, it was a lot harder. Even at school in PE, I couldn't really keep up with all my friends, and I would have a lot of uh, hip, knee, and heel pain. My therapy included a lot of stretches and stuff like that, and I would also do a lot of balancing things and a lot of muscle strengthening. The Gate Lab was really cool, and I really enjoyed it. You know, I felt like a robot because they put all these balls and antennas on me, and I thought it was really fun. <laughs> I did look really weird. <laughs> Dr. Chang was a specialist who came in to look at me and test me, and he would play with me, and little did my mom know, or I know, that he was actually surveying me and watching me the way I was moving. I would visit Dr. Chang all the time, and I would talk to him about how I loved playing sports, and so he recommended me to the hospital sports program, which is called the HSP. I met a lot of friends through the HSP program. It's been just priceless friendship. When I was eight, I saw a bunch of snowboarders going through a terrain park and doing these crazy, you know, big jumps. And I looked back at my teacher and I was like, I want to do that. I won the Wells Fargo Cup in 2012. And this past December, Disabled Sports USA selected me to be part of a Alpine E-team, which is a training team for the Paralympics. This is the first time that they've put snowboarding in the Paralympics, and I was lucky enough to be the first snowboarder selected on this team. Right now I'm training so that I might be able to go to the Paralympic Games. I had a great teacher. Her name is Nicole, and she is like one of my best buddies ever. She taught me a lot in snowboarding, and I couldn't have done it without her. Nicole and the HSP program taught me all that I know right now, and they completed a dream that I have always had. And so one of my biggest aspirations for the future is to be able to pass that on and teach other people snowboarding. My family has given up so much of their time to me, and they've just done so many amazing things, and I couldn't be anywhere close to where I am without them. Now, really, it doesn't matter if people tease me because I may not be able to keep up with them on the ground and at school, but I definitely know that they won't be able to keep up with me on the slopes. <laughs> Children's Colorado helps kids like me every day, and there are lots of stories of transformation like mine. 